All right, what is up, everybody? Shadow Scout 13 uh, coming in with another list uh, build. This time, going over some Republic stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to, in today's video, kind of go over a list that you can split. So that way, you can have two fronts. You're not just focused on a single person, um, even though you, you have Rex. And you do have that single individual person that they're going to want to take out. You have at least another generic commander. Or if you wanted to take Rex out and put someone else in, that's up to you. Um, but I'm going to try to use Rex today. Um, and if you want, please like, subscribe, and um, leave a comment on a list that you want to either see or if you want to make any changes or what you would do. Um, or if there's a strategy that you want to kind of me have me build around, that's totally up to you. Um, just let me know. Um, but for today, we're going to go with Captain Rex, and then I figured a generic commander. You have two fronts, so that way you can do two different sides of the field. You're not just limited to one, and you can kind of, you know, kind of maybe throw their army into a disarray style um, deployment. And I mean, in general, just kind of screw up at least something so you can kind of go splitting your army and not congealing the um the clones like they want to be um for rex since he's definitely got a ton of command cards you can go with aggressive tactics i mean it never hurts to have those um or vigilance it's up to you with the clone commander i was going to go with vigilance um there you go but it's up to you you can flip flop it you don't have to do aggressive tactics that's kind of you know up to you um with the training slot for Rex, let's see. Let's go with, I'm gonna go with situational awareness because um, I'm gonna have him probably using a ton of dodges if he can. And it's also a cheap way to keep him alive, um, especially if there are dodges everywhere. Um, and since he is gonna be the main guy or your only guy, I would take him. Um, also, I'd let him get around as much as possible with jetpack, um, and that'll give him a lot of mobility. Um, so that way you can kind of keep him protected as much as possible um, and give him, let his army kind of do the work for him. Uh, with the clone commander, um, I would probably go with offensive push, get those aims uh, as well. And so, um, I'm going to go with R2 and leave him naked. Let's see. I'm going to go. Let's see. With some phase ones. Um, with the phase ones, they only have um, courage one. So you could. I was going to give them um, five to be in a phase one clone trooper unit to give it the courage two that it could need and to kind of help lead the other two with the clone commander. Um, because then you have coordinate and coordinate. And so what you could do is always give out your orders to, you know, Rex. Um, and and then possibly that clone trooper unit so that fives can give something out and then the clone commander can give something out, but at least you've given Rex something. That's an idea. Um, and a three pip that way, you know, when you're giving out multiple ones uh, or if you wanted to put, you know, uh, situational awareness on Rex instead or uh, the clone commander, you could do that or on one of the phase twos. Um, Cause on the phase two, what I would do is give an echo um, since it's already got uh, Courage 2, it's going to be pretty great uh, with Echo having range 1 to 5. Usually with the Naked Phase 1 clone troopers, I use them to stack, or I would use them to stack um, a, a aims or dodges so that you have everyone else able to use them as well. Um, and I mean, 5 is good anyway. Uh, you don't have to have anything else on them. But now you have at least fives, Echo, and Rex, which I think, you know, is awesome. And then you have R2 kind of in the mix, kind of making it Clone Wars E. Um, then you might as well have a strike team, sniper strike team. 
since they're freaking awesome. And let's go with two of them. But I want to make them super mobile um, since there's just two of them. And they already have, I think, tactical one. Yeah, they are going to get an aim when they move. And then having a jetpack to keep them completely moving, mobile and shooting and going back and forth, getting cover or not cover, it's up to you. That's that's how I would like to play a strike team. Is that way, since there's only two of them, just kind of hopefully not keep them in that one spot. And then we have plenty of room for another one. Let's go with either. So there's multiple things that you can do. You can go with our troopers and then give them the um, just the DC-15. Uh, and that gives you a full unit. Um, I'm sure, let's see, 15 extra points. No, that wouldn't work. Unless you didn't have jetpacks. Yeah, you could probably make one of these a full unit without the jetpack. So you took out one of those whoop, and then deleted that, added one of these. Uh, no, no, that wouldn't work. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep that. So that's 10 activations and plenty of ways to, you have 14 more points to put anywhere. So I'm sure you could probably, you know, do a lot with that. You could probably put something on R2. You could probably give, um, oh yeah, Rex, hold on, his jetpack rocket, or his jetpack, sorry. All right, so nine, and then, and that leaves Captain Rex moving along a lot. Mm, what is, no, let's see. Um, Yep, you can use those nine points however you'd like. And I'm sure if you wanted to, you could technically take off some jetpack rockets and probably give those phase ones an extra um, person. Maybe if, if you didn't want those, you could put, you know, an ATRT in there um, and give yourself some anti armor. Pretty much still leaving you with a ton of stuff, a ton of points left. So you still have like 48 points you can do something with. Um, with that, I would definitely, you know, give, um, some heavy upgrades since you have what I said, 48, you could definitely do, if you wanted the long range, um, critical one, that would give you so much more. I mean, you could do one of those and then the, mm, well, I guess you could just do two of those or one of these. Yeah. It could be too much. Um, hmm. yeah, you could do Z sixes on each of them. I need 25. Yep, two more points. Yeah, so 10 activations. You got some heavies on the phase ones on every phase one, and you have fives. You have Echo, you have two strike teams with jetpacks so that they're completely mobile. You have an ATRT, um, that could probably help lead, um, you know, half of them. So, okay, so. You have Captain Rex and Clone Commander. You split them up. You give, maybe with Rex, you can give Echo and uh, a strike team and another phase one clone trooper. And then you could do fives with a clone trooper with R2 and then the ATRT if you wanted to. And the, or sorry, and the clone commander. It's just, you can split this up, I'm sure, multiple ways by. Um, like I said, Captain Rex, maybe have, what was it, fives? Yeah, it's Captain Rex, fives, one extra clone trooper unit, and the ATRT. And if you wanted to, you could probably have changed out the laser cannon with um, something else. Or you can take away aggressive tactics and put something there or whatever you wanted to do. But then you'd also have the clone commander, R2, a phase one, a phase two, um, going on one, and maybe a strike team if you wanted to bring it with them and then have a strike team in the back. I mean, with 10 activations, you could do five and five, honestly. Um, but at least if you know Rex is gone, you still have a whole commander. Um, and then you've got the whole squad. So it's kind of thematic. Um, command. I would go with blast off. 
because then call me captain would be a good one. Uh, take that clinkers is awesome. And then e push or air support, I would do. Uh, let's go with air support just for that fact. And then for the three pit, go with Rex's for sure. And then attack of the clones was the other one I was going to go with um, or assault, but at least, you know, three clone trooper units, you're only using clones anyway. So why not use it? Um, and with building two, breakthrough would be good because if you can split your army, they've got to split theirs and it would divert it or they're going to have to go maybe through the middle and you can create like a pretty much a kill zone um, or skirt around them. Um, it just kind of depends on how you set it up or how you kind of uh, lure them into a way of doing it. Um, intercept the transmissions. Um, yeah, you've got a, you can leave a few in the back and then your arc troopers probably in the back and then move in with ATRT for the middle um, or keep it for the middle and then, you know, kind of pincer both ways for the objective if you can find a way around. Uh, so you're not just, like I said, all up into one key positions. Um, yeah, you could probably, if you wanted to leave your art troopers in the back, both of them, and then have the other ones, like I said, that would leave eight other activations. You could do four and four, splitting them up. Uh, R2 kind of being protected just to get that secret mission at least. Um, and then, uh, yeah, uh, recover the supplies. Let's see. Your arc trooper strike teams could do their best. Um, what you could do is you could probably, if you did want, didn't want jetpacks on some of them, or you didn't want aggressive tactics, or you didn't want vigilance on what the clone commander, and you wanted to save some points, uh, you could put some recon intel onto some people, and that would actually be okay for recover the supplies to get them in and kind of have them cover and fire support. Um, sabotage moisture evaporators. Yeah, that wouldn't be too hard hostage exchange um hmm. yeah just use a phase one uh z6 and then use the rest of them to try to help secure uh bombing room would be good payload would be good i mean it's mostly just to try to keep um your your people separate your army uh not together so that there's not just one way to take them out um that's it so hopefully you guys kind of liked this there's different ways to make it so if you liked it just leave a like um <clears throat> if you have any suggestions or anything to change or if you have a list that you'd like to see let me know but other than that i will catch you guys later